Intelligence was never under my direct purview, but I am well aware of the many exploits of the former Cypher 9. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. <laughs> If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. Secrets. They are windows, doors, and walls all at once. You lead a complicated life. What can I say? You've got me pegged. Not bad. As in all things, it is the force that guides me. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. The more we discover, the better equipped the Empire will be in future endeavors. Precisely, Commander. If you don't mind my use of the title. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. Why so tentative? Could it be a master Jedi, in his own house no less, is afraid of a fight? You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's Chief Combat Advisor. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? They're not worth the time to kill. Send them out. Let them spread word of the Empire's victory. As you wish, sir. You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching! The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. 
Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. Don't I get to hear what Darth Arcus and his pet are discussing? It's no secret. With the temple secure, Lord Go has been tasked with uncovering any hidden information stores. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarston, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord. They... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Wouldn't the Republic have been better off trying to reclaim the Jedi Temple? It's a perplexing matter, but we can't concern ourselves with it now. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you, and with the great Sith Empire. What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I don't care if you're armed with vibroblades, blasters, or raw knuckles. You will earn the right to go on living. You all heard him. Time to prove your worth. To arms. Just the sort of leadership we need. An honor to work with you. They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. You the one in charge here? Oh, before you answer, I was told to kill whoever's in charge here. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening. And you can't stop it. I propose a trade. You tell me everything, and I call for medical assistance. It's too late for me. But I leave this place knowing I've set a great thing in motion. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. The 
The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. If you need any further participation, you know where to find me. When the time comes, there will be no hesitation. That's a promise. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Why don't you start by telling me a little bit more about yourself? Oh. What is it you want to know? You're unusual for a Sith. You don't even have a title. Knowledge, answers, truth, the Force. These are the things I hold dear. Titles don't interest me. Can we... Sorry, I don't mean to appear antisocial, but I do have pressing concerns. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what that motive is. But there's very good reason to be concerned about it. Meaning? I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it. Not from our current vantage point, but a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, writhing, growing. That sounds ominous. I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire's in terrible danger. Someone like you, Commander. Most would never trust you, but you're practically the only one I trust right now. Help me unravel this mystery. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do some unraveling with. Is that right? Well, I'm afraid there's nothing for us to act on just yet. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. You do the same. I have to be at Arcus's side now, but I'll remain in touch. I promise. Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. A secret conspiracy? I have some measure of expertise in that area. Yes, Commander. A blessing you are here. I'll admit I'm a bit out of my depth. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on... something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. 
He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darak are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot, I implore you! I want to know who you are and why you've been imprisoned. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Nina of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakara. A smuggler, in other words. Jakara was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Darak are working together. Is that significant? They thought I wouldn't discover their conspiracy. I'm going to show them exactly how wrong they were. We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. Must be Garima. Time to talk. Is Hoge so hard in Kertlisa? The hard way. Nembor King Avila Gito Torko. La Tate Hata Mogot are. Care to tell me where your underwriters are? Mine Gin Ritet Neste Ahoje Hatal Al Alasonak Oraban. Hosu idon kera stulas elva lasto as bulk ahatasa. Amun kaja kostunk, vota hoje mar inlet, ete valaholo. Eves tol ere ni as igrit, len parnata feder zetin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us! Shoot him already! Garima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. I'm not going to repeat myself, Chikara. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather... an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. You seem to have forgotten where your loyalties are meant to lie. He thinks you've gone to the other side, Arcus. It is somewhat amusing, isn't it? Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need...
yourself. Enjoy a preview of our secret army. Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. You could always join the Empire. I think you'd make a welcome asset. I'm oddly flattered. Not even going to consider it, of course, but flattered. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Derek are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. Every indication is that Revan died. Surely he's not in control of the Order that bears his name. It's not Revan himself, but those who follow his doctrine we're concerned with. They seem to have grown rather bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... This is Jakara. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. I'd much rather do without mysterious enclaves and secret orders, thank you. They're good for job security, if nothing else. But if they get their way, you won't have a job. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. Good at his job or not, he's not bad to look at. Yes, he does have a certain way about him. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? That time we spoke after reclaiming Korriban. I thought we shared something, a connection. Was I wrong? After what you just said about Theron Shan, I thought maybe you'd moved on. But no, you aren't wrong. You also admitted an attraction to him. I suspected you might be trying to tweak me. I suppose I tweaked back. No hard feelings, I hope. I have to go now. There's much yet to uncover about the Revanite's plans and the formation of this infinite army of theirs. I'll be thinking of you.
Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force. A sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance. Revenites working against us from within. I found a few. Did you learn anything? Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revenites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Enough tiptoeing. We know for a fact that Arcus is a traitor. We can expose him. We can't just go making accusations. Darth Arcus is a trusted and powerful member of the Dark Council. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darrock are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? Tell me what you know about it. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revenites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revenites' full control. I've had enough of Arcus thinking he can play me for a fool. Ready a shuttle to Rakata Prime. We're going. I have a shuttle waiting, Commander. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet side. The sooner we depart for Rakata Prime, the better. Jakara, D4. <laughs> Jakaro! This bay at least a modicum of respect. Hey, we're set to move on the Temple of the Ancients when you are. That's the traitor's base of operations. Yeah, the Ricotta designed the Star Forge in that temple thousands of years ago. Now it's Argus and Derek's grunt factory. Theron and I will be monitoring your progress from Jakaro's ship. We'll assist you as we can, keep you apprised of matters. You what? Jakaro, I agree to no such thing. Wait, was this the talk with Agent Shad you powered me down for? I should warn you, it's a rough road to the temple. The area is lousy with tribal Rakatans more than happy to fight. Found that out the hard way. Wonderful! We're all going to die! Wonderful! Remain focused and all will be well. I'm sure of it. We'll be in touch soon. That's it. We're in. Theron? Okay. According to the structural plans, the only way to get at the head Revenites is through that conscription center. The cyborgs are dormant for now, but they're set to go on high alert once they detect you. A console overload will fry them from the inside. <sighs> nope. Can't work the power safeties from here. You'll have to do the honors. A sound plan. Theron, why can't I get this sensor to work? Because Jakaro isn't a big fan of upkeep. Probably a dead relay. I'll check it out. Now that he's gone, might I recommend not doing as Theron suggests? An overload would destroy the data as well. The Empire might want its own infinite army someday. You would have to fight those cyborgs, but... Well, there goes any concern of you getting too cozy with the Republic spy. Make no mistake, I serve the Empire. As do I. We'll do this your way. Hey, hey what happened? Why is the console still running? We couldn't make it work. The room will have to be traversed the hard way. Are you sure? What did you try? Everything. If you say so. Hey, those sensor relays were fine, by the way. Not sure what the problem is. Was. The sensor appears to be working again. Wait, wait! Jakaro still wishes to confront the men who betrayed him and left us for dead. As would I, actually. <laughs> Come on. What's the matter, Arcus? Shuttle not ready yet? 
We Revanites went through a great deal of trouble to reach this point in our campaign. For you to hamper our progress... It's regrettable. You, Lana. You were never anything more than pawns to us. Important pawns, but pawns all the same. You're not even the twentieth person to underestimate me. I have the upper hand now, Sith Lord. So talk. So, this is where I outline our grand design, and then you decide whether or not to spare my life? <coughs> this grotesque alien beast does have it partly figured out. Indeed, I won't cooperate. But I'm not fleeing. We will stand our ground and put an end to your perpetual interruption. Colonel? If you could see what we were doing, what we want for the galaxy, but you can't see, you'll just have to die. Arcus and Darak were never going to be taken alive. They were never going to talk. I felt Darth Arcus's passing. This is an unfortunate turn. Yes, you did. What a relief. Blasted, those two were running a show. They were our best hope of exposing the Revanites. No, they weren't in charge. The disturbance in the Force, I still feel it. It's arrived. <laughs> We got company, ships, capital sized, whole bunch of them. Can't tell if they're yours or ours, but one of them is dropping in to visit. As important as Arcus and Derek were to the cause, their deaths won't stop us. They won't even slow us down. That voice. I've heard it before. It's Revan. I almost had the infinite army I wanted so badly. But even without them, I have enough. If you think you can take on the Empire, you're in for a rude awakening. I know all about rude awakenings. I won't suffer one again. I've been reborn. My mind is clearer, my power intensified, and now, with the order under my command, I'm unstoppable. You're telling me the Revanites weren't always under your control. At first, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was no prophet. Then I saw them in a new light. A secret group of devotees waiting to follow my lead without question, to help me save the galaxy. I was a fool to ever disregard them. I finally let the Revanites into my world. A world you have to be erased from. Turbo lasers are locking on! Get out of there! You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. <coughs> anyway, my point is... I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. So coy. I think someone in the SIS has a crush on me. What, me? Into you? That's so... You know, don't be ridiculous. If I may say, Jin Shan, you appear to be rather flush all of a sudden. We're gonna... Jakaro and I and the droid, we're leaving now so you can have your... official Imperial debriefer. Whatever. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in.
Some good news. I was able to extract a good amount of data from the Infinite Army Conscription Console. Unfortunately, we can't possibly hand it over to our Imperial colleagues. The Brevenites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had twelve death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. And the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. We need to put a stop to the Order, and we need to do it now. You'll get no argument from me. In fact, Theron and I have been discussing the best way to go about it. The way forward is clear. Theron, Jakaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. You can't do it alone. You'll need me alongside you. For all intents and purposes, you are Imperial Intelligence. The Empire needs you. Be who you are, but be observant and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. I wish you didn't have to go. It won't be easy for me either. Just know that I'll be thinking of you. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that.